Hey, how you doing? Yeah, today I've been waiting to hear back that whole thing from China. I don't know if you guys went to my get on my timeline from last week. Some of y'all probably did listen to the video. I was talking about the whole situation in China and the whole NBA how they got it wrong. And I've been cooling and trying to wait to see what's gonna happen. And there haven't been no statement from Adam Silver yet, but LeBron tweets out that Morley was misinformed or not knowing what's going on over there. Now, some of the statements in his tweet, and I'm not going to quote it verbatim, but, uh, but, you know, he said it could have been financial, physical, and spiritual danger. Okay, I might get the spiritual danger. Okay, I get the physical danger. He said that was over in China. Okay, I'll give them that. I will give LeBron that part. Now, the financial danger, Oh, so you worry about your money. Dude, you got dang near a billion dollars. And as much you stand up for social justice, you've seen a whole country of people totally being oppressed, you guys doing business in, and you're so scared to lose a couple of dollars, you can't. There's a point that you don't need no more money. Most of y'all who, who are so scared don't even need the doggone money. And, and y'all can't stand. It's like now you won't stand. You stand up against Donald Trump. You yak off all day on social media. You the Kurt Popovich, and all of a sudden, Boom! Here goes the world issue right here. There you go. Your big blown up issue out the whole police thing and racism. Now you got a whole country being suppressed. Ain't only allowed to have five religion. I'm assuming Christianity is not one of them. I, I don't know. I had to look redo a little research on myself, but well, I'm assuming as much it probably isn't considering it was written in there would probably go against a lot of the side Chinese dictatorship dating back to even far as back as I can remember the whole situation over the Tiananmen Square in nineteen eighty nine. <sighs> so yeah, so when that lady, that reporter, made that kind of with LeBron show up and dribble, I was kind of like, okay, okay. I said, all right, you might want to point to this, but we'll see. Well, guess what? Maybe she might have been right after all. Maybe, maybe LeBron, hey, made the point that hey, once you go into okay, I'm going to stand up for what it right, that means you can't go halfway with this. If you're gonna say American. Racism is wrong, choking people, police choking people. Well, people unlocking up your American citizens will happen here in Detroit, where a guy went to coach football, some type of bar fight breaks down, you do four years of jail basically for something that should have been maybe a, something you probably didn't even do, just had to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, or the involvement of it wasn't totally clear. But this course doesn't screw you over there in that country like that. And you want to defend that? Hmm. What if the Ball Brothers stayed locked up in jail for that those shoe incident? Will we feel so much that way about China now? Huh. You know, and it's funny. I've made a point to talk to some of my Chinese brother and sister, and I'm going to do today because actually I, I play, uh, you know, I spend time with someone once a week, play volleyball a couple of times, once or twice a week. And I just want to shoot the breeze with them, see what they say about this. I'll probably elaborate more about that afterward. Who knows, maybe I can get them to come on and do a live video with me talking about it. Uh, but. I did talk to some of them, they said, maybe they're doing too much over there, the rioting, looting, but it's for freedom, you know, and this is LeBron so far stands for, just because in a foreign country it make you lose money, but you can't back off your stance. I mean, otherwise you go back and enjoy basketball, play basketball. You can't do both. If you're going to get that far, now you're getting a deeper part of the water. It's like being in a swimming pool. You go in about... Oh, you three feet side, you stand up there, you can dance around, you know, five feet high pool. You get there and all of a sudden, hey, we going to swim in a 10-foot deep end. It's like, uh-oh, can't swim. Uh-oh, forgot the swim lesson now. But it's okay you over there yelling about Donald Trump. Now we're dealing with China. Now you want to be Mr. I'm going to tow the company line. You're back home. There's no NBA players over there in China. And you didn't say you're going to say. Okay. As of right now, I haven't decided when watching NBA basketball this year, personally. I know this is shot coming from me of all people. Anybody knows me on this page, you know, I am, I'm probably outside of football and baseball, basketball. I don't know, sometimes basketball I watch heavily. I probably watch just about, I mean, MLB games the last year or so as, as NBA games, almost both, and football. So between three sports, I want to do a lot of watching. I haven't been back to hockey. I'm just creeping back in there a little bit more. I've been watching hockey not as much. Larry's been terrible and all that, but that's not the point of this video. But... You know, what do you think about it? At one point, I thought about, well, I guess make sure money made one day I might buy a pair of LeBron shoes. I think that might have about flown out the door. 
I love the stuff he did at the schools and anything else. But once you make a stance on social issues like that, there's no going halfway. You got to do it or don't do it. So back off all the stuff. Back off all the t-shirts. He can't bring t-shirts over a couple of people getting killed. You got a whole 1.4 billion people being oppressed in another country. And now you're worried about your little brand name product. You got billion dollars. You're not broke, dude. Make a stand. Make a stand somewhere. Make a doggone stand somewhere. Stop being scared to bring. You got enough money. You got enough. Your kids don't have to do anything else. They can run better than... Y'all can run a company like the Bar Brothers and be way better than they are. With basically, you would get away from Nike and make your own product brand you got you. You straight. Dude, stand up for something. If you don't know saying it, you don't make that stand for something. You'll fall for everything. So now you made... Your first time, you backed off the second one. So now what happens? Something else come up. Now you're going to say, ah, maybe I want to do that because it might make me lose money or my billion dollars, my $100 million new endorsement. I know you're doing a career, but dude, you didn't save enough money. You good. Doggone it. <sighs> no, LeBron, you got it wrong. And really bad that we got it wrong for over a billion people that you know that's getting it wrong, man. You know better. And that statement sounded so half concoct and so just scripted. <laughs> that didn't even sound like the real you. Sad to say that. And you come from Cleveland and you were dirt broke just like those poor people in China. Some of them. And you gotta do better than that brother. I gotta call you out on that one. That's just it. I'm done because I'm already ticked off enough as it is these sports fans today. <sighs> I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Much love to everybody out there. And uh Take, take a stand or take a fall. But can't go halfway. It is hot or cold. Lukewarm is a dangerous place to be.